As you're probably aware, we've had some additional activity up at Hali Mau Mau. Uh, starting yesterday evening around 8 p.m., there were a couple of explosive events from the Hali Mau Mau crater, put uh, ash clouds up to less than 20,000 feet. But this morning, a little bit after 4 a.m., around 4.15, uh, there was a short-lived explosion, but a pretty powerful one, uh, put a cloud up to 30,000 feet above sea level. Um, this cloud was short-lived, though. It, it went up high, uh, but because the duration of the event was pretty short, it was high, but not a, not a really big cloud. Uh, based on our models and some uh, reports that we got, um, ashfall was pretty localized to Volcano Village area and Volcano National Park, uh, trace amounts of ash in that area. So a big event that got people's attention, um, but not with widespread impacts. And this is the kind of event uh, that we had been um, expecting might happen at Hali Mau Mau based on interaction of uh, the dropping lava levels with groundwater. So this explosive event is consistent with what we were thinking might happen. Um, and so right now up at Hali Mau Mau, we're still getting ash emissions at a lower level, kind of 12,000 feet above sea level, so a few thousand feet above the crater floor. So. Uh, we're still watching things real closely. We may have additional larger events, more powerful events, kind of like we, what we saw earlier this morning. In, in my mind, what we saw today, you know, this cloud up to 30,000 feet above sea level, that's consistent with what we were expecting. Um, and so, you know, we could expect similar events to happen in the future as these kind of interactions between the groundwater and the lava continue.